The road to passive income probably is not what you think, maybe not what you've been told before. I don't wanna shock you, but I do wanna fill you in on exactly how it works so that you can go out and get some passive income set up for yourself. But before we dive into today's topic of the roadmap to true passive income, we've got one thing that we need to do. You guys know the drill. Let's hit the showreel. So on the journey to passive income, there are a couple of stops along the way that you need to make. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. We're gonna uh, lay out the roadmap to go from standing still from starting all the way to having actually passive income coming in, multiple streams of passing it, passive income coming into your bank account every single day, which is the dream, right? It's what most of us all want if we're entrepreneurial, business-minded. And if you're watching this video, I'm gonna go out on a, on a limb and say, it's actually what, what you're looking for as well. And contrary to popular belief, um, what I'm sharing with you, it, it might go against the grain. It might go against what most people would say is the way to actually start earning passive income. But having been through the process myself, having taught hundreds of students from all around the world, I've seen what works and I've seen what doesn't and I've seen what people say online and then I've seen the actual truth of the matter as well. So make sure to have your pen and paper handy, make sure to have something ready to take some notes because if you implement this, if you really take this in, it will be the difference between you thinking about this and it being a daydream and it actually being your reality, which is what I want for you. I want you to be able to enjoy this and set this up because I believe and I know in my heart that abundance is your birthright. Time and financial freedom is something that we should all have and passive income is what will give you both of those things. So this is actually quite important to understand. The first note you want to be making in your, in your pen and paper is financial freedom is part of the equation for sure and this is something that most people leave out is that the, there is another part of the equation there's two things here that will equal true freedom that that passive income gives you both of these things most people just focus on the financial aspects on the on the money making and that's important of course it's an ingredient for, for this recipe absolutely but the other half is time freedom so if you're financially free but you have no time to enjoy the money it's only half the equation, right? It's only half the battle. But if you're time free, but money poor, life's gonna not be the easiest journey, is it? So we want both in abundance and we can actually have both. And when I talk about passive income, this is what I've got in mind because this is, when I speak to people, this is what uh, we see is actually what people want. They, they want the time to be able to enjoy the money, to do the things they wanna do, when they wanna do them, who they wanna do them with, all of that good stuff. So if that's what you've got in mind as well, when we hear passive income, when we hear freedom, then happy days, we're in the right place, we're vibing with one another. Now, now that we've set the vision and the intention of what this actually means to us, let's talk about how to go ahead and achieve it. Because I'm gonna, uh, just as for this example, Talk about somebody who hasn't started yet at all. And I'm going to go through all the way through to somebody who has passive income coming in, multiple streams of passive income, and the major dot points along that journey. So the key thing is when you're in the beginner stages of this journey is actually to get started. What do I mean by that? Move. <laughs> actually get some movement in and start doing things. Okay, this is the biggest problem that I see with people is that they think, they think, they think, they think, they think. We live in this information age and it's overwhelming. And that overwhelm leads to inaction. However, the biggest, there's two sort of lands with this, two sort of continents, if you were. If passive income is one continent, then active income is the other. And you have to start in the active in the world of active income to be able to journey through to the land of passive income. You can't just catch a plane and end up straight over in passive income world overnight. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Okay, there are steps along the way that we have to take. But the first and the most important one is to actually just start. And it's so simple. Not always the easiest thing, but it is the simplest thing 
and quite often, unfortunately, is the most overlooked because as I say, people are just consuming content, consuming content, but they're not actually implementing anything. Knowledge is not power. Implemented knowledge is power. So when you take what you're learning, and this is kind of moving into step two, that's when you will start to see the movement. So the first thing is to actually just get started, to pick up a book, to watch a video, to figure out whatever industry you're, you're, wanting, you're wanting to play in, whichever space you're playing in, in terms of making the income, that's irrelevant. The most important thing is that you get started. From there, you wanna focus, okay? You wanna have a singular focus. We talk about this all the time on this channel, that scattered focus is scattered results. You want to pick a singular focus of where you're going and particularly who you are listening to. Having a mentor, having a coach, having a guide is a great idea because if you can go and learn from somebody who has what you want, the result that you want, they will be able to tell you how to get there quicker, right? This will shorten the journey, shorten the distance. However, if you have five coaches or you're listening to and watching information from five different people on the same topic, that's gonna to create five forks in the road. It's gonna split your focus. It's gonna diversify your energy. It's gonna split your energy and you're gonna get a split result, meaning that you're gonna go wide and, and you're gonna go far this way with the width, but we wanna go long. We want the distance. We wanna be able to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. So singular focus in every sense of the word, not only what are you working on, but who are you listening to? Who is your coach? Who is your guide? Who has the specific result that you want? Who has the lifestyle in every aspect that you want, financially, personally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, in every sense, habitually, in every sense of the word? Who has what it is that you want? Go and listen to that one person, implement what they say. Don't obviously close off your ears to everything else, but in terms of what action are you taking now that you've started, that's step one. Step two is the focus. From there, keep that tunnel vision locked in, know where you're going and know how, how it is that you're getting there. Step three, this is so important. It's the consistency of it. So now that you've figured out the action that you're taking, you've got to be consistent with it. Because most people want to just click a few buttons, type a few things on the computer and wake up overnight to a pass source of passive income. However, it will take you action and consistency in that action. It's like going to the gym, right? It'll take you consistent action to be able to build something. Rome was not built in a day, right? You going to the gym and building your biceps or your abs or your whatever wasn't built in a day. A nine hour workout, that intensity, a nine hour workout does nothing for you. However, 20 minutes every day, the consistency, the compound effect of that gets you where you need to be. So I would implore you to be consistent to take those small steps every single day to know what it is you're building, to lay the most beautiful, strong, solid foundation of this passive income house that you're building for yourself. From there, it really is you keep going until. This is step four. You keep going until. Right now, we're kind of coming up to the, to the border of active income versus passive income. We're crossing the bridge between the two. When you've started and you've got the focus, you know what you're doing and you're doing it consistently, that is the difference between you getting the result and not. If you think about it, if you go to the gym every day, 20 minutes for a week, you'll start to see some progress, but you might not have got the result that you want yet. However, if you go 20 minutes to the gym five days a week for a year, I think we can all agree that you will see much more progress. So you keep going until you see the result. It doesn't mean that it's, it's going to be easy. It doesn't mean there's not going to be want to be days when you want to give up. However, you have faith, you know, because you listen to your mentor, you've got that singular focus, you've got that roadmap, that plan that you're following. You know that it will work. It's just a question of when, not if, but when it will work. It's like punching something into your sat nav. You know you're going to get there. There just might be a bit of traffic along the way, but you keep going until you reach your destination. And that is when you will start to cross the bridge. We don't know when it will happen, but we know that it will. The gym is such a good example of this. It's like being in shape. We don't know when it will happen if you go to the gym every day for 20 minutes, but we know that it will. And we know that at some point that is gonna be a part of your routine that is just, it's who you are, it's your character. It's who you are, it's, it's within you. You just don't even think about it, you go every day now. This is what we're looking for, to build that consistency, that discipline, in other words, to love yourself enough to do it until it happens for you because you deserve it. And this is where most people fall off. 
because they've started building something, but then they don't see it turning into passive income yet. They're still stuck in the world of active income, which isn't spoken about enough. You have to build passive income. You have to be active. You have to take action in order for to build something sustainable that will continue to pay you whether you're there or not to have that true passive income and this is the real crux of it is that this isn't what people talk about and it's not sexy it's not exciting or maybe it is depending on your viewpoint for me i think it's brilliant to be able to build something for yourself to be able to work on something i mean what's more fulfilling than that especially when you're out there being able to help people. So I hope that this, uh, you found this valuable. I hope that you realize that the road now to passive income is really just through one thing and that's through building action, through building active income. Because on the way, and I hope you guys have, 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 have realized this, that through the land, when you're walk, walking through the, the land of active income, you will be earning money. You'll be doing the things that are setting up the passive income. You'll be making sales you'll be helping people, you'll be exchanging value, you'll be bringing money in. So you'll be setting something up, making income. However, we're just not at that point yet where it's completely automated, completely passive. The only way to get there is to walk through the land of active income and end up in the land of passive income. So I hope you guys found that valuable. If you did, type land of active income in the comments below so that we know you made it until this point in the video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it because that means that you'll never miss a single video that we put out there for you guys. Hope you found this valuable and until next time, we'll see you there. Stay blessed.